morning guys. Uh, today we're going to do something a little different. Um, today we're going to have 16 different workouts that we could do, um, but we're only going to do eight of them in a row. Um, so when you start with your first workout, you just need some kind of coin with the heads or tails, really any two sides works. Um, and then you're going to flip your coin and whatever it lands on is which workout you'll do. So I'll flip my coin and I'll get heads and I'll do that workout uh, in the template that Regina sends out. And then for the next one, um, I'll flip my coin again and it'll be one of the two workouts that are there. Um, we're gonna go over and adjust them. Okay, so the first two exercises are push-ups or you can do a hollow hold. Um, so you're gonna flip your coin, uh, say I get heads. So heads were in a nice push-up position. We're gonna go into the arms are 90 degrees ourselves right back up okay. and then the next one is going to be a hollow hold and it's a 30 second hollow hold so you'll start with everything on the ground and you're going to focus on getting your legs your head and your arms all off the ground um, and your upper back as well so you're kind of going to look like a banana and you're going to hold that for about 30 seconds okay so after we've done our first exercise then we're going to flip our coin one more time and then, so for tails, it's gonna be 15 sit-ups. Um, so you're just gonna kind of do that. Legs close together in, hands by your side. Um, so I'm gonna do a crunch, and if you can, you can do a sit-up by keeping your uh, arms down on the ground and sliding them forward. I cannot do that currently. So uh, for a crunch, you're gonna keep your arms by your ears. Make that uh, crunch up and go back down. I'll do 15 of those. Or, if you get heads, you'll do 20 squat jumps. So you'll be here, do a nice squat, get your legs to 90 degrees, try to keep your chest up, and then you're gonna explode out of your squat. Squat down, and explode. Okay, we've got two down. Um, and the third one is either 25 mountain climbers, or I believe, let me double check, 15 handstands. Um, you, we're gonna see my very, Rough attempt at a handstand here, okay. Don't snapshot this. Um, so you're gonna flip your coin again, and whatever you get, uh, you're able to do your handstands. Make sure you're nice and tight. Or you're gonna do your mountain climbers. Um, so you're gonna have one leg up, um, and you're just gonna be switching legs up and down. Okay, we've got three down. Uh, the fourth one is either 30 jumping jacks, or uh, I believe the 20 second Superman hold. You're just gonna do a nice jumping jack, or a Superman hold. Just gonna start on the ground, and then you're, you're gonna focus on getting your arms, your head, and your legs up, and you're just gonna be right on your core. You're gonna hold it. Okay. On to exercise number five. Um, you're either gonna do a plank, or a hollow push-up. Um, so plank is normal, you're going to be on your forearms. And when you start your time, you're going to lift up and it's just going to be your toes and your forearms that are on the ground. You're going to hold it, keep your core tight. Okay. The next one is a hollow push-up, where you're going to remember the hollow position that we did earlier, but you're doing it on your hands now. So your body is still going to be shaped like a banana, but in a push-up position. And then you're going to bring your body all the way down, right to the ground, and push it right back up into the hollow. Exercise number six is either jumping lunges or a side plank. And so for jumping lunges, you're gonna be, you're gonna jump into your lunge position, go down to your knee, almost hits the ground, or your front leg gets 90 degrees. You're gonna go up and you're gonna jump and swap to your other leg. Do the same thing. And you're gonna go back and forth. Okay. Um, and then the next one is gonna be a side plank. You're gonna be down on your side, still doing your forearm, and only one foot, I believe. Um, so you're gonna stack your feet on top of each other, and you're gonna go up. You're gonna do that on this side, or the other side, whatever you choose. Exercise number seven is gonna be squats or Russian twists. So squats, once again, we're gonna make sure we're in a good athletic position. We're gonna go down to our legs hit 90 degrees. We're gonna try to keep our chest up. Up and down. 
And then the next one is called Russian Twist. So you're going to be down on your bottom. You're going to lift your legs off the ground and you're going to be only on your bottom. And you're going to twist from side to side. And try to touch the ground on each side. And then the last uh, set of workouts is going to be either burpees or shoulder taps. And so a burpee is again that good athletic position. Like this. So you're going to jump up and go down into a push-up position, bring yourself down, up, hop up, and jump back up again. Make sure you're really trying to explode on your way up and getting a good push-up in on your way down. Okay. Um, and the other workout for number eight is going to be shoulder taps. So you're going to go in to a push-up position again. All you're going to do is alternate your hands touching your shoulders. So this one's going to touch my left shoulder down, and my left hand's going to touch my right shoulder. And you're just going to switch without swaying as much as possible so you can stay in control. Okay? If you're staying in control, you're using the right muscles.